Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are watching the 2004 American action thriller film called Salala. Her biology teacher Jessica Martin leaves with her husband Craig and their son Ricky after taking Ricky to the bus stop. Intruders break into her house, slay her housekeeper, kidnap and confine her in an attic, and smash her landline. Jessie managed to use the wire on the broken phone to contact a random number. Ryan is hanging out in Santa Monica Pier with his friend Chad when he comes across his ex Chloe, who dumped him. Hoping to get back with her, he offers to help her with the fundraising being held there. He gets Jack to hand out the flyers until he returns with the t-shirts. On his way, Ryan gets a call on his cell phone from Jessica who tells him she's been kidnapped and the phone is shattered. Although Ryan thinks it's a prank, Jessica gets him to call the, go to the police where he reports it to Sergeant Bob Mooney. A fight between officers and the gang members break out. Mooney intervenes and tells him to report the kidnapping on the fourth law. However, Ryan cannot find anyone on the way up and loses the call. So, Ryan then steals the lawyer's car from the police impound lot and finds his own cell phone that he left in the seat when he returns to the Martins to verify some things where he kills Payback in self-defense when she fires at him, grazing his neck. His friend Tanner pulls up, hearing of the shootout, acting as a concerned friend. Back at the safe house, Mad Dog realizes that Jessica has been using the landline to seek help. He attempts to kill her, but she nicks his Radio artery causing him to bleed to death in seconds. Mooney overhears the transmission, overpowers Dimitri, and handcuffs him before returning to the pier. Ryan then escapes to a boathouse thanks to Chad's destruction. Jessica strengthens Decent with her handcuffs in the van, then frees her husband and son. But, however, he recovers and is attempting to kill them when Ryan intervenes, slamming his head in the car door while Ryan and Mooney are being treated by paramedics. Tana is also exposed as Ryan had copied the whole video on his cell phone. Jessica finally meets Ryan, the man who risked his life to save his family. And Ryan humorously asked her to never call him a day. Yeah.